Hello everyone. Today's talk is on Antarctica, one of the seven continents. It contains the geographic South Pole and is situated in the Antarctic region of the Southern Hemisphere. It is the fifth largest continent, bigger than Australia and Europe. When you think of this place, what comes to your mind? Of course, ice, snow, and cold weather. Antarctica on average is the coldest, driest, and windiest continent and has the highest average elevation of all the continents. It has about 90% of the ice in the world. The sun does not shine for several months in the winter, and the temperature of the air can go below minus 80 degrees Celsius. The sun shines almost all the time in the summer, but the temperature of the air does not go above zero degrees Celsius. Due to its location at the South Pole, Antarctica receives relatively little solar radiation except along the southern summer. This means that it is a very cold continent, where water is mostly in the form of ice. Precipitation is low, and almost always in the form of snow, which accumulates and forms the giant ice sheets which cover the continent. Antarctica is an important part of the world. It has almost 70% of the world's fresh water. Penguins live in this continent, and people usually go there for several reasons. Most of them are scientists. They come to Antarctica to study the changes in the weather and learn about living things in the ocean. Antarctica is the last region on Earth in recorded history to be discovered, which was unseen until 1820. The continent, however, remained largely neglected for the rest of the 19th century because of its hostile environment, lack of easily accessible resources, and isolation. The geological study of Antarctica has been greatly hindered by the thick layer of ice that covers nearly all of the continent. However, we know more about this continent today, thanks to new techniques such as remote sensing, ground-penetrating radar, and satellite imagery. They have begun to reveal the structures beneath the ice, and no doubt they will learn more about the continent's geology and life. Although it is too cold to live in, there are many things to learn about Antarctica. Some people travel to this beautiful continent just for fun. What do you think of that idea? Maybe you would like to visit Antarctica too.